to the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. James chapter 5, the full text is from 13 to 28 but give us verse 15 just for the sake of time james chapter 5 the bible says the prayer of faith somebody say the prayer of faith that means not every prayer is answered when you begin to read from verse 15 verse 13 the bible says if any man afflicted he said let him pray most believers pray but there are prayers that do not they carry a lot of energy perhaps they carry a lot of speaking perhaps but they may never produce result back to 15 please it says the prayer of faith that is the prayer that saves that is the prayer that raises up and that is the prayer that brings intervention the prayer of faith shall save the sick and the Lord shall raise him up and if he had committed sins they shall be forgiven him the prayer of faith you know what the prayer of faith is the prayer of faith is word inspired word based prayer one more time word inspired word based prayer not emotional prayer not God I have come if you keep watching me like this I will also watch you it's just the mercy of God you need at that point not answer to prayers because remember God loves you so much he gave Jesus for you but I taught you that he is bound by his word all of these sentiments we whip up in the place of prayer we think because we are touched by our own sentiments it means that God is touched no he's touched with the feelings of our infirmities but he only responds to his word that's what makes him a God of integrity that not even his feelings can change his action the father saw Jesus dying and was touched and yet did not do anything because at that point he was seen that is what makes him a God of integrity so if you think by just whipping up emotions God will somehow find a way to continue to vindicate you you may be in trouble you need knowledge you need faith the prayer of faith will save the sick will raise him up and will bring intervention most believers pray but the basis of our prayer ministry is emotions or just shouting up and down once you are not praying in tongues the next thing you should be doing is praying word-based prayers father thank you your word declares that i should come to you boldly now i have come and that in the name of jesus i ask this and that the bible declares what things soever i desire this is what i desire the bible says i should not be anxious for anything i decree and declare that in the name of jesus i reject anxiety i bring before you these petitions the bible says in philippians 4 and verse 6 that i should be anxious for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving i should let my request be made known father i bring before you this issue of rent i know that you are faithful i obtain wisdom to know what to do you are praying Are we together? But there are many people, the way they pray, even you who is listening to them at the other side of the fence, you are just imagining and say, you will even start praying and say, Lord, please just forgive this thing they are saying. Use my intercession to help them. And the danger is that when God keeps showing you mercy in ignorance, you will think it is the excellence of your approach that brought the result. So he will leave you so that maturity can step in. It's why a lot of new believers pray nonsense and still get answers. And then later God says, no, 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 no. You have to rise and strive. Remember our teaching to strive for mastery. And for that, pray properly. Are we together? 
that prayer people pray in front of food some have food and it's wonderful but that's just to help children you're an adult you approach that way it's ingratitude you have to settle down and understand how the bible look, maturity 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 if you see a child dropping five naira as offering that's fine for his age but if you see somebody who is working in an oil company holds five naira whether it's new or old dropping it you will look at him and say sir give this even to your governors the bible says they will not accept because to whom much is given much is expected god is challenging us tonight if you want to walk in dominion then we have to obtain grace from god are we together to be people of word-based prayer and word-based declaration let me give you the final key thank you very much for your patience the final key tonight if you want to walk in dominion then you will need to encounter the anointing there is the anointing that activates this is called the power of God second Peter chapter 1 and verse 3 the Bible says according as his divine power hath given us all things that pertain unto life and godliness through the knowledge of him that has called us into glory and virtue Acts chapter 4 and verse 33 very very powerful scripture the Bible says and with great power gave the apostles witness of the resurrection of the Lord and great grace was upon them all Ephesians chapter 1 and verse 19 we're discussing the anointing now Paul was praying over the church in Ephesus and among the many things he prayed that would be revealed to them was the exceeding greatness of his power to us word who believe the exceeding greatness of his power to us word who believe Luke chapter 24 and verse 49 Jesus is speaking to the disciples now who would later become apostles of the Lamb. He says, Behold, I send the promise of my Father upon you, but tarry ye in the city of Jerusalem until ye be endued with power from on high. Men can be endued with power from on high. Luke chapter 1, remember? The discussion between Gabriel and Mary, verse 34, Luke 1, 34 and 35. Then Mary said unto the angel, how shall these things be, seeing I know not a man? The answer, next verse. The angel answered and said unto her, the Holy Ghost shall come upon thee, and the power of the highest shall overshadow thee. Therefore also the holy thing which shall be born of thee shall be called the Son of God whatever comes out by the power of god must be attributed to god the power of god only produces that which pleases the lord listen to me it takes power to make promises manifest here and now you can read that by his stripes i am healed you can understand that confession and all these things are there but now the Bible says if somebody is sick, verse um, James chapter 5 and verse 14, that if someone is sick, he should call on the elders. Are we together now? Elder simply means those who by reason of experience with results, they have obtained a ranking that is worth recognition. The elders of the church and let them pray. So prayer also solves the issue of sickness anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord and then the Bible says the prayer of faith shall heal the sick in John chapter 1 and verse 12 John chapter 1 and verse 12 but as many as received him he gave them power what do you get after you receive him power the power that makes you become the son of god acts chapter 1 and verse 8 ye shall receive power tells you after the holy ghost is come upon you ye shall receive power that means one of the many supplies of the spirit is power give us philippians 119 
power resides absolutely within the office of the Holy Spirit. It says, for I know that this shall turn to my salvation through your prayer and the supply of the Spirit of Jesus Christ. There is what the Spirit supplies. You cannot embrace power ignoring the ministry of the Holy Spirit. It's when you embrace the Holy Spirit. Mary, uh, angel, the angel Gabriel told Mary, the Holy Ghost will come upon you first, then the power of the highest will overshadow you. He said you shall receive power after that the Holy Spirit has come upon you. Power is not independent of relationship with the Holy Spirit. Please keep that scripture, Philippians 1, 19. But I know that this shall turn to my salvation. That is dominion. I know that whatever the issue is, I can correct it. I can enforce restoration. But it will happen through your prayer and the supply of the Spirit of Jesus Christ. Ladies and gentlemen, as far as walking practically in dominion is concerned, these are the ordinances of heaven. And he told Job, Job, one of the many reasons why you are a victim is because you do not understand the ordinances of heaven, the laws that regulate the heavens. And he says, canst thou set up the dominion over the earth? Do you know the laws of the heavens? Do you know that heaven operates by knowledge? Do you know that heaven operates by understanding? Do you know that it takes faith that is why disobedience is not tolerated in heaven because heaven is a place that epitomizes faith in God every time there is rebellion in heaven defiance there is judgment immediately and there was war in heaven heaven is a place of perfect faith because of perfect obedience and then you must realize that dominion depends on words the ministry of prayer, the ministry of prophetic declaration, but words. And finally, there is an empowerment from God that comes upon individuals. After all this is said, that power grants you the grace. It is the power that enforces compliance. So if God tells you, you are going to prosper, you believe that word, you understand the principles connected to it that becomes revelation you take steps in keeping with the truth then in the place of prayer and declarations now you're fulfilling the word component then you activate the power to prosper now you can have financial dominion is someone learning let them have dominion the ordinances of heaven you can carry this truth tonight like a student holding something that can profit him and stand before any situation and use this formula and find your way out when you stand before anything that seems to defy your dominion and authority don't just start speaking and say no in jesus name you are going to go uh -uh. am i speaking out of knowledge am i speaking out of understanding what I am saying, is it revelation to me? No wonder the sons of Sceva, remember? We adjure you by Jesus whom Paul preaches. They violated the ordinance. They spoke, but it was not out of revelation. And the demon said, Jesus I know. Paul I know. But who are you? Jesus I know. Why? Because Jesus had knowledge. He had understanding. He had revelation by the Spirit. Jesus prayed. He activated his possibilities through words. Jesus was a man of faith and the power of the highest came upon him. We are where we are today by the grace of God, but enforced through the application of this ordinance of heaven. Hear me, families can enforce these ordinances. Businesses can enforce these ordinances. Marriages and homes can enforce these ordinances finance corporations can enforce these ordinances and even nations can enforce these ordinances we continue to speak over our dear nation and for many we, we keep saying in jesus name nigeria will change and it looks like no change is happening we have to go back first to the place of revelation 
and then the place of obedience what is the obedience if my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways then will I hear from heaven and I will forgive their sin and heal their land next is the ministry of prophetic intercessors i search for a man to stand in the gap that i may not destroy the land next are the people who are sent as sheep among wolves that god will grant believers the wisdom to know how to operate the cosmos and glorify christ until that is done we are wasting our time the ordinances of heaven are you ready to pray tonight i want you to stand up on your feet don't begin to pray just stand up please stand in the next 10 seconds I want you to think about your life think about every aspect of your life whether you're outside you're inside following online I just want you to think for one minute about your life the many areas of limitation the many areas where the truth of dominion is not yet speaking in your life I want you to honestly and sincerely examine those areas just a few seconds of self-examination i have seen the faithfulness of god in the area of the anointing but the area of family life or area of finances or area of parenting raising my children or area of character i have not seen dominion happen lord i know there has to be a way i take responsibility just think for one minute we're about to pray so that you don't just pray arbitrarily lord my christian experience needs to come into a greater level of richness a greater level of quality let them have dominion is your mandate and your expectation over me many people have died who should not have died simply because i did not understand the ordinances of heaven there are many lives that are limited today perhaps including mine you'll be praying all because i do not understand the ordinances of heaven now i have been taught knowledge understanding becoming revelation and then faith and then the power of words in prayer and prophetic decrees and then the engracing of the spirit now i don't know which of these four or five areas you need to pray for give yourself a prayer point by what you find out as the limitation which of these five ordinances have you not worked consistently in keeping with go ahead and pray for some of you is sheer ignorance you are not even aware of the promises and there's nothing to be embarrassed about the house of god is bethel is the place of bread it's time for you to pray lord i'm tired of ignorance perhaps you just got born again congratulations for coming into the kingdom now you begin the experience of thriving in the kingdom through knowledge there are those who have knowledge lord i'm tired of awareness i've gone for meetings but i do not have a thorough comprehension what role do i have to play what is my own demand what do you require of me as far as this and that area of my life is concerned please make sure you are praying for many of us is the area of obedience stepping out in faith kill fear oh god from my life i need to step out in faith in total obedience taking the required action that commits god for some of you you have been too silent to walk in dominion too silent no prayer too silent no prophetic decrees or wrong decrees he says say not before an angel i made a mistake is someone praying let the redeemed of the lord say so the bible declares in prayer what thing soever ye desire what thing soever ye desire when ye pray most of us have lost the art of prayer genuine prayer commanding power with god in prayer and prophetic declar declarations many of us are full of negative statements we speak negatively about ourselves our children negatively about others negatively about situations and circumstances our words are not faith-filled it's time to change your confession it has to be as the word of god says 
the ministry of prayer the ministry of prophetic declaration someone is praying and finally i like you to pray father the level of anointing that must rest upon my life from tonight to activate dominion practically in my life i receive it i receive it i receive it my home must reflect dominion my job must reflect dominion my corporation must reflect dominion you're a man of god pray i must see dominion expressed in the work that the lord has committed to my hands tired of being a victim of situations and circumstances hallelujah hallelujah as we wrap up this this series i want to speak over your life the anointing part that one is my responsibility under god and i will speak on that over your life but let me just make a one minute altar call very quickly <clears throat> prophesying over people who are not saved will not do much the anointing of the spirit only supports what is pro jesus only supports what is pro christ the anointing of the holy spirit cannot support what is antichrist you are here haven't heard the teaching on dominion the holy spirit is speaking to you that you need to make your ways right with jesus you are making a decision for the first time or you need a renewal before i speak over your life we have just one minute for you very boldly wherever you are inside and outside i want you to quickly make your way to the front very boldly come and stand before me god bless you thank you for your courage some of you need to be like the gentleman who testified you can make today that day go ahead go ahead god bless you apostle i'm making this decision for jesus once and for all please come for some of you you are saying I need to rededicate my life to Jesus. I need to make it right with him. Join him very quickly. You can just turn and face me. God bless you. Thank you. Koinonia, is this the best you can do? Let's encourage them as they come. God bless you. He can give you a new beginning. God bless you. God bless you. Young, old, male, female, please come. Come to Jesus. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you for the courage. Thank you for the courage. They are still coming. A few more seconds. They are still coming. Let's celebrate them. Win that war of destiny once and for all. You want to walk in dominion. Remember, the Bible says, man that is of honor and does not know can die like a beast in the field. Do not allow the devil waste you because you are outside of this covenant of Christ. Hallelujah praise the name of the Lord thank you very much ladies and gentlemen I salute every one of you for the courage to step out here it takes a lot of courage to come stand before God's people but let me tell you that you're not just standing before a man you're standing before Jesus himself Jesus is watching you with joy in his heart and this will be the best decision that you have made hallelujah may I please request that you lift your right hand as always those who are following by way of television you are following online here's an opportunity for you to make Jesus Lord of your life even if you are watching by way of broadcast the power of God remains ever true as I pray for them I want you to make this decision and pray that prayer believing in your heart and you will be saved those in front and all who have come out across the overflows and across the nations of the earth please say this after me say Lord Jesus tonight i have heard your word i believe with my heart that you are the son of god i believe that you were raised from the dead by the spirit of god and that you live and reign forever right now i receive jesus into my heart as my savior as my lord and as my king i declare that the power of sin satan hell and the grave is broken over my life 
I decree and declare from tonight and forever that I have peace with God. I am a child of God. I go forward ever and backward never. Amen. Please keep your hands lifted. Father, thank you for these precious ones. They have come to you. And the Bible declares that as many who will come, you will in no wise cast away. Lord, they have come making honest declarations of faith. I decree and declare in the name of Jesus that according to their confessions, let their sins be forgiven and that you give them a new beginning even by the Spirit of God. I decree and declare that you experience the ministry of the Word and the ministry of the Holy Spirit. May you be grounded and established in righteousness. You go from glory to glory and grace to grace. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. God bless you. Please, I'd like you to quickly follow the gentlemen, the counselors waving their hands by my right. May God bless you. Just a quick word and you'll be back to your seat. Let's celebrate them as they go. Let's celebrate them as they go. Let's celebrate them as they go. Thank you. Let me speak over your life now. They are also receiving whilst they are there. Hallelujah. So that we're sure that the proclamations are not wasted. I want to declare upon your life. One of the ways that we access grace and power is through impartation. I want you to believe from the depth of your heart that something will come upon your life. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare the grace that puts you practically in dominion beginning from today. May that grace rest upon you now. I prophesy upon your life even by the power of the Holy Spirit. The power that is derived from the word. The power that is derived from the ministry of the Holy Spirit. Let it begin to speak practically in your life from today. Practically in your life from today. Practically in your life from today. Hear me. In the name of Jesus from today. As you declare it so you will see. I say it again. As you declare it so you will see it. The centurion said for I am a man under authority having soldiers here and there i say to one go and he goeth to one come and he cometh from today whatever you say go to it must go and whatever you call to come it must come and hear me for many of you who have been calling things and they have refused to come i join my faith with you and i call it to your life now and everything you have you have told to go and it has refused to go by the power that raised Christ from the dead we drive it permanently from you from today whoever you bless is blessed whatever you bless is blessed whatever you touch is blessed I pray for every business here no more going down every home here no more backwardness every spiritual life here upward and forward only in the name of jesus christ from today no enchantment and divination against your life will survive and hear me if there be anything that has authorized satan over and against your life in the name of jesus we bring him and his cohorts under your feet Thou shalt not be afraid of the arrows that fly by day, nor the noisome pestilence, nor the destruction that wasted in noonday. I prophesy to you, anybody that says over your dead body, the ground will open and swallow them. Anywhere your name is taken, Makatosh Kalibarato Ziata, Embregete Kaparakatosh, it shall not stand in the name of Jesus. hear me the power to create your possibilities and the power to manifest those possibilities receive it right now the power to correct anomalies and the power to command restoration receive it now in the name of jesus and by the privilege of priesthood i empower you this night Go and correct every wrong thing in your life. 
go and correct every wrong thing financially maritally spiritually intellectually in your health in the name of jesus christ hear me from tonight anything you see that is inconsistent with what is written even if it's what you saw or what you heard or what you dreamt or what was told you i empower you to change it with the written word hear me anyone here who is a victim of i heard prophecy anyone who is a victim of i saw visions anyone who is a victim of they told me altered perceptions i change it now by the power of it is written anyone who has seen you dying i speak to you you will live anyone who has seen you poor i speak to you you must prosper anyone who has said your territory will be hostile to you i prophesy over you for you there is a lifting up favor rests upon you the dominion power of the spirit rests upon you in the name of jesus i pray for you precious people of god the spirit of revelation that gives you knowledge and understanding drawing light out of scripture and experiences receive that grace now no more study of the bible without revelation high level spiritual illumination hear me by this dominion power anywhere you are supposed to be called in this season for good news and for your rising i don't care how long it has been i declare they must identify you and lift you hear me i'm speaking to the body of christ but particularly those who are connected to this grace from today the grace for influence the grace for dominion the grace to be exalted above nations and territories i release that grace of help them i release that grace upon you now you will be distinguished in such a spectacular way i want you to believe what i'm telling you nations will honor you governments will honor you not just individuals they will look for you regardless your background they will look for you regardless your limitations in the name of jesus christ may god put it in the heart of great men to look for you may god put it in the heart of helpers to help you and hear me i know that our nation is being plagued with a lot of things let me speak for one minute we owe a duty as priests to speak over this nation and over abuja i stand by the apostolic we close the spiritual borders of fct over terrorists i decree and declare that the spiritual borders of the fct is hereby closed against any activity of terrorism in the name of jesus christ and as it is closed over this city is closed over your home too no devil of darkness will kidnap you and your children in the mighty name of jesus christ and anybody that vows to become your enemy quarter to execution may this dominion covenant fight them let me pray over your finances please believe it among the many indices that measure dominion second or third only to your spiritual health is your financial level i am one person who believes that the blessing of the lord upon a heart that loves jesus and a mind that is transformed is a blessing indeed let me repeat the blessing of the lord activated upon a heart that loves jesus and a mind that is transformed is a blessing indeed resources only become a disadvantage and a disaster if they rest in the heart of one who has a heart that does not love jesus and a mind that is not superior in thinking and because i'm sure of what god has done in your life i speak over you some of you this week in the name of jesus may my god surprise you financially
may my God open strange doors, connect you to systems and structures in the name of Jesus Christ. And every limitation that has come with lack, I decree and declare, whether corporately or institutionally, be delivered from it now. Finally, let me speak over your body. There is a spirit that is sweeping across this nation and regions, just killing people using the guise of sickness. People will just tell you, I'm having stomach ache, having this, having that, and then you just die. There are others, they look at you and say, oh, you are this, this headache is like that. It's part of your family. I decree and declare, every sickness that is locking around your body by the power that raised Christ from the dead, since this dominion mandate has rested upon you, let that sickness leave you now. Cancer leaves you now. High blood pressure leaves you now. Blindness leaves you now. Blood conditions go now. Blood pressures are normalized now. Pile leaves you now. Bone conditions leave you now. In the name of Jesus. So that you can enjoy health. Remember dominion is for men. Spirits that have human bodies. And anything that fights your body is fighting the mandate of dominion upon you. Therefore may your body be perfected. The Bible says he keepeth his bones and none is broken. Your bones will not be broken. In Jesus name I pray. Wave your hands to Jesus and give him all the praise. Father we bless you. In the name of Jesus Christ I pray. Amen and amen. Thank you very much for your patience. We're about to share the grace. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. The phase of development. Lord, grant me the discipline.